if I'm honest, I feel like I'm going to probably offend someone in this video. Um, so if you have any comments, questions or concerns, um, please put them in my freshly made worry box. Uh, yes, I am a DIY queen. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to me. I'm here and I'm tired. As you can see, I'm back home for good. I mean, for good for the next five, six weeks until I officially move out for good. Ah! A busy week. I've just been getting on with trying to prep myself for my new school. Um, I had my induction day and it was a lot of information to take on board but I'm really excited. I got to meet my class. It was very scary but also wonderful and yeah I'm feeling like a real adult with real responsibilities which I don't really like. This video however is a brief break from that adulthood to talk about something that I was asked to talk about. Um, should I talk about it? I'm not sure. <laughs> Now, I really don't want to say this girl's name wrong. Elise. I'm thinking that's what it is. Well, Elise, that is a very good question. <laughs> now, I want to preface this video. Um, if you're watching this just as a viewer that wants to know a bit about Durham and its drama, um, I've been at Durham for four years. Um, I've literally just graduated. Not so much in my last year, but over my first three years in my undergrad, I spent a lot of my time doing theatre, specifically musical theatre, we'll get onto that in a minute. Now Durham as a university has so many amazing opportunities to get involved in theatre as well as like music um, and sport but I think theatre and music was where I really went for because obviously those are the things I love. And so today I just want to talk a little bit about my experience in DST, um, Durham Student Theatre um, and Yes. <laughs> I feel like I'm giving off a lot of bad energy right now. So I'm just gonna like chuck that out the window. My window's over that side. I absolutely loved my time doing student theatre. I just wanna say this right now. If you're thinking of going to university and you really wanna get involved in a really, really lively, huge theatre scene, Durham is absolutely amazing to do that. However, um, <laughs> I feel like most of my points in this video are gonna come across quite negative. And that's not because I hated it, as I just said, I loved it. But I just think if people are thinking of joining it, these are things I would have quite liked to know before I had begun. So please take that on board as I continue. I loved it, I did not hate it. But yeah, taking these things into consideration. I just thought I'd say currently I'm wearing uh, one of my student theater t-shirts because I'm that weirdo. This is actually one of my really old ones from first year. It's with the group Julog, which I was pretty involved in. Is that very good? Here we are. In my third year, someone told me that they saw my fashion sense as leggings and stash. And if I'm honest, I still haven't really gotten over that. I will stash a lot around rehearsals and things because it's comfortable. It's, I can move. <laughs> what, what I'm about to show you is really, really embarrassing, so I'm not really sure why I'm doing this, but I am. <laughs> so this is my pile of stash. We've got here quite a lot of muted tones, apart from this awful, awful one here. If I'm honest, like, it looks a lot, but this is really not that much. I know people who have so, so much more, and that's what's annoying. Why was I known as the stash girl? Oh, this one's got, like, chocolate on it, and that's really gross. Anyway, that is so heavy. It's so heavy, I honestly just... Get it out of the way. So, yeah, if you do get involved in shows, I would advise do not buy the stash of every single one you do. You would just get so you know, peer pressured into it, and then you realised after the year that you had so many jumpers that all look exactly the same just with a different logo on the back. So my advice is pick and choose guys, pick and choose. Anyway, that was a ramble and a half, but let's get into the actual content that I want to talk about today. So as I said, Durham theatre scene is absolutely massive. I think there's about like... 25 theatre companies. So the theatre companies are kind of split into college theatre companies and then specific style of theatre. I absolutely love this because I feel like the college ones are a place where people can go for a bit more chilled out theatre, less time consuming, a bit more like a place to make friends as opposed to like really try and be the best 
of the best. Obviously everywhere you're making friends, that should be the goal, it is society at university, like you're at uni to get a degree, everything else is to make pals. <laughs> but I find that the college theatre is a place to be a lot more chilled and be a lot more relaxed, um, which is quite nice if you're not so, so dedicated to theatre um, and you just want to do it for a laugh and that's so fine. If you are someone that is wanting a bit more chilled out approach I would recommend specific colleges because some colleges have a theatre group that is open to the whole university and some that are only for the college. In Collingwood the College Society is only open to college students which creates like a nice like comfort bubble for people that are a bit nervous to maybe explore as with the college that can be quite nice. I won't lie uh, a bit of drama that happened at my college because of that. Uh, <laughs> I was someone who really wanted to get involved in at college level and at university level. Um, I did find a little bit of tension there. <laughs> I think some people in Collingwood in particular kind of end up having this attitude that if you then leave the college to go and do university outside of the... I don't know if I can say this, I feel like I'm gonna get absolutely like slated on some group chat somewhere for for saying this. <laughs> but I'm doing it anyway because it needs to be said, it needs to be said. I found a bit of tension when you leave the college to do theatre outside of the college. People, some people don't like you um, because they feel like you're leaving the society. Um, I always went back and like did further stuff at the college, like I was president of my college theatre company but I still found a lot of tension in the group, you know? But obviously that's not from everyone and I feel like that happens everywhere, you know, people like to compare themselves which is annoying, but it just happens, you know, you can't really stop it. But yes, if you're kind of wanting a more chilled out approach, I would go for a college that is more closed off. Um, it's less competitive, it's more of a, like, everyone gets in, everyone enjoys it, which is nice, like, security if you, if you don't want the stress of it. And gosh, I know that auditions can be incredibly stressful, so if you want something that guarantees you to get in, I would go for a college that's closed off. That was a ramble and a half. I'm just really scared I'm gonna get absolutely destroyed. Ah! <laughs> Another thing I say, if you are wanting to get involved in a like uni show um, that's really big or a troupe, they have like um, Durham Review which is like the comedy troupe um, so they are the same for the whole year. Um, if you're looking to get involved in a uni based theatre group it's time consuming. <laughs> if you are so involved in loads of things really like really think about your time. Can you afford to do another show because it's so time consuming and for your own mental health like please protect protect yourself. Sometimes you can get involved in a show and other people will take it very very seriously and if you're not completely dedicated they can get very annoyed at you and it has caused tensions in the past, me being on both sides of that. Um, and so I've just learned that you need to protect number one, okay? I just think it's really important because sometimes you can get sucked into the circle and can't really have a good outsider's view of what is going on. And yeah, just remember everyone is thinking about themselves, so you should think about yourself as well, okay? <laughs> this is such a tea video. I. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I mean, someone asked it for me. It wasn't like I chose to do this, you know? <laughs> Another thing I would say is if you're not really into like cliquey stuff, I would try to kind of spread yourself out across like loads of theatre groups. Um, auditioning for loads of stuff, maybe an exec on one and then being in a show on another. This is something I wasn't very good at. <laughs> I think it's a lot more difficult um, as I'm more into like musical theatre. I didn't really do any plays while I was at uni, which obviously narrows down the groups that I was kind of able to be involved in. I think that did affect me negatively because sometimes I got so sucked into the drama of like one society and you've just got to look at like the grand scheme of things. Like when you take a step back from the situation, is it that deep? No, it's not. It's not deep at all. Some people at Durham will be planning on going off to drama school after they're there and therefore for them this is like an audition for drama school so everything is so serious and professional. And obviously we love to like make really amazing stuff, amazing performances, amazing productions, but at the end of the day it's still a society and you're there to have a good time. So have a good time, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Another thing that really, really upsets me at the beginning of every year, as someone that's been on execs and can see what happens, I found that at the beginning of the year there's so many more people auditioning for stuff. 
in like the first week so many people audition for everything and then unfortunately some of them won't get into things and then they'll never try to audition for anything ever, ever again and that really really upsets me okay having been in like audition discussions on like who's getting cast people don't get cast that are still really talented and it just makes me so sad because i think people see the rejection and think oh my gosh I'm really not very good. It's just not true. <laughs> sometimes it is really just about like who's best for the role and I hate to say it but sometimes it is also about who is already known by the team and that is a whole different issue which I've always hated. Who knows who, it, it affects people in the professional industry and at student level, it just happens. So just keep trying for things. I know it's quite difficult get rejected and rejected but like you'll get into something and it will probably be an amazing experience and just yeah don't give up it's not you it's them probably <laughs> another thing I'd want to say is if you're thinking about getting involved in execs obviously if you're coming in from first year um that's not really a kind of thing you can do because the execs already decided but like second and third year pick a society that you feel really passionate about firstly that you've been involved in before you kind of know the general vibe of it execs are a lot of work. Um, I was on exec for the second year as a social sec and then third year I was a secretary for one society and president for another society. It takes up a lot of time. Um, if you're invested and excited to be involved it's amazing and it can be really good for the CV if you milk it like I do. But I've also seen many people sign up for execs, um, not just in theatre, in music and everything that just put zero effort in and make loads of other people in the exec do all the work. Um, and that's not cool, mate. It's not cool. There are set roles in the exec to do their own thing. And if you don't do your work, that means someone else has to do more. So... <laughs> so if you're applying for exec, just make sure you're ready to do it, basically. I don't know if I want to say anything more. I really hope I haven't caused tea in this video. And I really also hope I haven't put anyone off from doing student theatre, because it is amazing. I did 20 shows over three years. Um, some of them I struggled with. It was quite difficult. Others I absolutely loved. And obviously the ones I absolutely loved made me keep doing it. So, you know. You do it for a reason. I found that just in every single production I would go in with like a really positive outlook on it, really excited to be involved and then unfortunately some people would get my mood down. Um, but I think that's the aim is go in with a positive attitude and try your best to keep the attitude up and hopefully you won't even have to try that hard. My favourite show is that I didn't have to try at all because it's just effortlessly fun. My last show Dogfight was my favourite one that I did obviously I was glad that that was the one that I finished on, um, so I've got a good kind of like rose covered um, view of it now. I hope this was helpful, once again I hope it wasn't off-putting. Um, I feel like now that I've left Durham I really can say whatever I want, so that's why I did this now and not when I was at uni. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, please subscribe, uh, if you have any other questions about Durham message me. I might make a video if it's enough content to talk about, if it's not I'll just reply to your messages. I've recently set up a new teacher Instagram, um, it used to be a singing Insta but I'm trying to get more teacher stuff. Teacher Instagram is like a whole cult world and I absolutely love it. There's so many amazing ideas on it and I just, I just want to get in on it. So um, yeah at missb.ect on Instagram. Ooh. If you want to follow my teaching journey, please subscribe as usual. Um, and if you're into like theatery stuff, which clearly, hopefully you are, if you've watched this, then I'll say subscribe. <laughs> right guys, see you very, very soon. Lots of love, goodbye.